Hello everyone. We will continue the topic ALV by object oriented programming. And in the previous videos, we developed the ALV by object oriented concept and we got the expected output. Now I am running this program. ALV program which we developed. Now there are so many queries from the participants regarding one thing. Now we got the output and this is the container. In the container we have the ALV. Now people are saying these buttons are not working. I am not able to go to the back screen. These all buttons are not working. But when we created the ALV by traditional method, traditional method means at that time we used reuse ALV grid display function module, reuse ALV list display function module. At that time, this was not the issue. Suppose if I will go for the program in which we used reuse ALV grid display or list display function module. If you see this program, in this we have reuse ALV grid display function module. If I am running the program, this is our selection screen or input screen. We are giving the input and the output is coming. This is our output screen. We have not created any screen of our own. But if you see, in this particular program, when we designed the ALV, we created a screen 100. In that screen 100, we designed one container and in the container, the ALV data is displaying. It means this is our own screen. If I will go to system status, this is our own screen which we created. This is our 100 screen which we created. So if we want these buttons to work, we need to write the logic for the same because this is our screen. And here the knowledge of module pool topic will play a vital role. You all know every screen has two events by default. By default two events. PBO and PAI, process before output and process after input. And we have other two events also, POV and POH, process on value request and process on help request. Same thing is here. Whenever we will click on to these buttons, you all know whenever you are performing some action on the screen, which event will call process after input. So here we will write the logic in process after input of screen 100. If we want to go back, if we want to go back to the selection screen, these buttons will not work automatically. We need to write the logic for the same. So what I will do? I will simply, simply go to the program and important. And so many people raise this concern in this particular program that after that, uh, these buttons are not working. How we can make them working? So we will do this part. So this is our screen 100. I will double click on the screen 100. Now, you all know whenever we will click on to the buttons, PAI will call. So I will simply uncomment the module, which is the part of PAI. I will double click. I will go for yes. I will create a new include. Okay. Yes. Now, in this, we will write the logic for the same. I will just activate all the parts of the program. Now, firstly, 
we will check the value of psi u com in the debugging mode and then we will write the logic for the same. So I will put a breakpoint and we will see whenever we are clicking on back, what is the value of psi u com? This is the best practice always. We know that value will be back only, but we need to make sure this. I will just run this program. I will give the input and this is the output. We want this button to work. So I will simply click here. Now, you know, whenever you performed action, PAI called PAI. And have you seen? I am in PAI. You all know which system variable giving us the value of user command psi u com. And what is the value of psi u com back? So we will write if psi u com is equal to back, we want to go back to the selection screen. Suppose if I will execute what we want, we want whenever user will click on to this button, I am running suppose whenever user will click on to the back button control should come to this particular screen. This is our requirement. Now in the module pool topic, we put so much stress at that point of time. What is the significance of leave to screen zero? Leave to screen zero leave to screen zero, it take us to the previous stagged screen, previous stagged screen. So whatever is the previous screen in the stack, yes, it will take us to that particular screen. So here, the knowledge of that will play a vital role. Suppose, Suppose I will just simply run this program. Here, previous knowledge is extremely, extremely important. Suppose I'm putting a breakpoint here where we are calling the screen 100. I'm putting a breakpoint here. I'm running the program. So whenever this is, this is our bit screen, selection screen or input screen. If you want the screen number, what is the screen number of selection screen or input screen? It is always, always thousand, always thousand. So I will simply write, what is the first screen on which we are working? Thousand. I will just go for this. Now, from the thousand screen, you are calling which particular screen? From the thousand screen, you are calling screen hundred. By which syntax? Call, call screen, call screen. We put so much stress in the module pool topic. What is the difference between call screen and the call screen screen number? and leave to screen screen number. We are calling screen 100 through call screen syntax. So what will happen? On top of 1000, we have 100 screen in the stack. So 1000 will be there and on top of that 100 screen will be there. If I will show you the stack, suppose I am doing F5, and if I will show you the stack, okay, suppose as of now, output is coming. Now I will show you the stack. I will go to back button. Now when I did back, what event called PAI <laughs> of 100 screen called. Now if I will show you the stack. So what was the first screen? 1000. On top of that, we have bit screen, 100, 100. Now from 100 screen, 
you want to go back to which screen thousand screen it means that is our selection screen or input screen extremely important understanding if the previous knowledge of the topic is not there it is very difficult to understand this so we will simply write the logic from this hundred screen we want to come back to thousand screen so how we will come back we will simply simply come through which syntax leave to screen zero because leave to screen zero will take us to the previous stacked screen and what is the previous stacked screen thousand thousand means it is our selection screen or input screen so what i will do i will simply execute and i will simply execute now i will write the logic and show you so i will go to our program extremely important and so many people raise this particular thing if we want to go back to the previous screen so what i will do i will simply simply go to this particular screen this is our pai now here i will write the logic in the debugging mode we checked what is the value of psi u com it is equal to back now whenever we will click on to back button it will take us to the previous stacked screen so what is the syntax leave to screen zero so it means it will take us to the thousand screen if you want more understanding you can simply learn the topic call screen screen number and leave to screen screen number from the module pool programming playlist and we called 100 screen from the thousand screen by which syntax call screen syntax so that's why previous screen is as it is and on top of that new screen is there in the stack so that's why leave to screen zero will perfectly work fine and from 100 screen we can come back to the thousand screen now i will show you in that debugging mode how how it will work suppose i will put a breakpoint in pai I will run this program. Sorry, I run the screen. Now, I will simply, simply pass the input. This is our screen 1000, 1000. Now, from 1000 screen, we called which screen? 100 screen. So, 1000 is there, 100 is there because we used which syntax call screen screen number now if i will go to back button 100 screen p a i will call because you are performing a action on the screen now if i will go to desktop 3 just check the here itself you can clearly understand the stack 1000 100 but is psi u com psi u com is back back now, whenever psi u com is back, this condition is true and leave to screen zero means from the hundred screen, it will take us back to the thousand screen. So it will take us to the thousand screen. Have you seen this is our selection screen or input screen? So this is the way you need to write the logic. So what is the summary of this full video? Extremely important because so many people ask, our buttons are not working. Previously, it was working because you created your own screen. So on your screen, it means you need to write the logic for the buttons also. So what we did, we all know whenever we are performing some action on the screen, PAI is calling. So in PAI, we have written the logic. So firstly, we have checked the value of psi u com. 
then we simply understand yes if i want to go back means it means i want to go back to selection screen or input screen and what is the selection screens or input screen number thousand from the thousand screen you are calling hundred screen by using which syntax call screen screen number it means thousand and on top of that hundred is there that's why we are saying stack 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 means whatever is coming it is on top of that top of that and leave to screen zero will take us back to the previous stacked screen so this syntax is perfectly working fine so that's it in this particular video thank you